everyone, I'm Noel and welcome to the very first episode of Budget vs. Pro and today I am being joined by Dan. Hi Dan! Kamusta Hi Noel, I'm good. Uh, staying safe. <laughs> Yeah. And we are very happy and excited that you are safe and here to join us today for Budget versus Pro, where we will be chatting about affordable and high-end gadgets and appliances and their technologies and see which one suits us best. And today, we are talking about air conditioner inverters. Now, air conditioners, we all know, they're wonderful appliances that keep us cool, especially during summer. And there are a lot of types. There's the window type air conditioner, the split type air conditioner, the portable type air conditioner, and the package type air conditioner. And for you, everyone at home, if you don't know the difference between each one, no worries because we have buyer's guides for all of those here in our YouTube channel, Abinson Studio, for you to check out. And inverters, are essentially technologies within the air conditioner that make them run more efficient. They make them run quieter and potentially give you huge energy savings in the long run. And I personally like inverters in my air conditioner, so I will be taking the pro team for this episode. So since the world is taking the pro team, I'm taking the budget side. So I will be... Uh, talking about my experience with my non-inverter air conditioner. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last thing I mentioned uh, is uh, air conditioners with inverters potentially can give you a lot of energy savings in the long run. So let's talk about that first, Dan. Um, so for me, because like I mentioned, I like that aspect of uh, inverters in air conditioners primarily because I think the one we have at home so yes we do have an air conditioner at home with an inverter and I think we don't leave it on the 24 7 di naman for sure but it's not but I think siguro mga, on average baka mga 8 hours a day so quite a long time kung more or less araw araw yon so the potential for huge energy savings per hour per day it adds up eh. so i think that benefits me and my family when we use our air conditioner with inverter pero what about you what do you think well since i live alone and i, I live in a small space mm -hmm. i live in a studio unit uh, around i think it is around 15 square meters so uh, i use a non inverter air conditioner for the reason because i don't use it as much uh, I'm the person mm -hmm. who likes to uh, to open the windows in the morning, use the electric fan, and then ah. I use the air conditioner mostly at night, especially now, na medyo malamig -lamig ngayon. So I only use it right, for, right. Uh, I think, I'm around five hours, four hours a night, especially if I'm lang ako. There's a timer. Naman eh. So uh, mm -hmm. my air conditioner uh, is used just a few hours per night, per day, depending on it's, it's, ano, it's in between those hours. Eh. And uh, <laughs> yeah. but I know I, I know naman na it's not as energy saving as your air conditioner, but since I use it mm -hmm. less often, um, mm -mm. I believe we practically have the same uh, bill in terms of that. But I use it less hours naman based on my maybe, usage. Uh, maybe right. Uh, and then mm -hmm. um, one of those reasons din naman why my uh, air conditioner non inverter air conditioners in general. Uh, consumes a lot of electricity is how big uh, how their convert uh, in compressors sorry rather compressors work mm -hmm. so right, that's right. one of the aspects of uh, an air conditioner is it's compressor so pag non inverter like mine it's uh, on and off so it's constantly on 100% and then kapag malamig na maririnig ko eh na tumatahimik yung aircon ko <laughs> so alam kong naka, right. naka off na yung compressor so tahimik na siya so i know na it doesn't consume uh, too much electricity kapag tahimik na siya. Kasi parang it's basically it's in fan mode. But it's still trying to cool the air in the room. But then it will kick in again kapag kailangan ng magpalamig ulit. So, uh, for my use naman, it's it's fine. It's mm -hmm. it's not as uh, demanding in, in terms of energy consumption. So, I am happy with my non-inverter air conditioner. <laughs> Oh, you make some great points there, Dan. Uh, so one of the points you made uh, was about yung room size mo. Na 
you have your air conditioner without the inverter in a sort of small room. And that's a great point because I didn't mention this before, but since you touched on this now, <laughs> uh, our aircon with the inverter again, uh, the room that it's installed in is medyo malaki. Um, it's not super large. Wala siya sa sala namin or anything like that. Uh, pero for like the average room size uh, here in the Philippines, I think it's medyo large. So I think yung uh, because of that, um, we we again we we use the aircon quite a bit, mga eight or maybe more hours per day, and the size of the room makes it work harder, pa nga. So. Uh, the energy consumption piles up, but again, uh, the, another reason why I like the inverter uh, is because of the energy savings. So if the aircon has to work harder to cool the rest of the room, and you know, every time it does that, merong dagdag na energy savings because of the inverter, at least in the side car. But it's a case-to-case -case, uh, scenario. That's why we always need to know mm -hmm. the proper sizes. We do have. Uh, Hopefully, it, it will flash somewhere in the screen. Let's flash it here. Now, we'll have, uh, there's a uh, suggested uh, capa cooling capacities for our air conditioner. Right. Both for inverters and non-inverters, and also for our different types of air conditioners. We have, uh, do I, do I have the window, the split, and the portable, as you mentioned earlier. So, uh, mm -hmm. getting a proper sized uh, air conditioner for your room or for your own space is very crucial mm -hmm. because that's how it will also add up to the energy consumption. The the bigger the room is, it's better. Ah, the bigger the room is, the more that it needs a cooling power. So for my case, luckily, very, uh, very small space. <laughs> uh, my non-inverter air conditioner is doing well. Surprise! Uh, actually, it's that's doing great. Well. Uh, it, I don't hear it. Parang hirap na hirap siya. I don't hear it na. Susuko na siya kasi mainit. No, even the summer, hindi siya nagaganon. Thankfully, because I followed the suggested um, room, uh, sorry, cooling capacities for my room size. Yeah, and then that goes to show you that there is a right type of at least an air conditioner for uh, everyone's use case, na? Yes, especially now. You mentioned you live with your family, so the more people in the room, mas mainit siya. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. Very That's true. it's. That's a great point, Benga. Because again, you you mentioned again right now. Now uh, you live alone. Uh, I live right now in my family's home, so uh, there's a lot of people here, uh, multiple people. And again, since malaki yung kwarto, I'm not the only person in there. And uh, a lot of the time, my other family members are there. Actually, on on average, there's like uh, at least two or three people there. Maybe sometimes uh, five people there. So with the size. Of the room plus the number of people, there's the the uh, heat doon. So again, the aircon has to work harder. And another thing I didn't mention before was that the room is actually facing uh, towards the sun. So oh, a lot of the time hi. during the day, mas mainit siya versus like other uh, parts of the house. So maybe mas init ng kwarto, maraming tao, and so on. Plus, of course, we have like. Uh, gadgets and appliances and whatever there. Yes. Uh, uh, so all of those generate heat. So the uh, dagdagin sa point na ginawa mo kanina dan, uh, you have to take into account the room that you're going to place the air conditioner in uh, when you choose the one that's best for you. So na mention maring kanina dan mm -hmm. yung tong sa mga compressor, right? <laughs> so, before. Uh, we had a non-inverter air conditioner from way back, and nalala ko din na you, you mentioned before sa compressors uh, when it's working, naka on siya yes. or naka off siya, right? That's pag pag non-inverter ganon lang talaga siya. And nalala ko pag nago on yung compressor ng non-inverter namin, at least in dante, talaga maririnig mo yung <laughs> yung alam mo yung ganon parang may dadan na truck or something like that. So uh, does Ganun pa rin yung sayo? May, may noise level ba rin na parang ganun yung, yung non-inverter air conditioner, ha? Well, for my non-inverter air conditioner, yes, there is certain noise level talaga. Especially when pagkaka-on mo lang. Because that's when the compressor kicks in agad eh. Mm -mm. Para malamig agad yung room ko. So, there is noise. But, for me, it's tolerable naman. Mm -mm. I mean, it, it, it for my room size, I guess medyo mas malakas siya than the usual kasi maliit din naman yung room ko. Yeah, but at the same sound. time, 
Yes. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, tsaka mas malapit ako sa air conditioner. Okay. Ah, uh, ngayon siguro hindi lang ngayon, baka mas medyo malamig na rin kasi so baka tahimik siya. Thankfully para maganda. Yeah, actually dictionary nig. <laughs> diba? So, yun, from time to time it it umiingay siya. Mm-hmm. And then pag tahimik na siya, tahimik talaga siya. Right. Like and then, now. Kasi pag maingay naman siya, it's it's not it's not disturbing for me. Mm-hmm. And at, ano naman eh, I I use my uh headphones. Ah, music is life ka. <laughs> yeah, spe- especially <laughs> oh, especially for meetings. Wala lang so far wala yeah, yeah, na reklamo na. Uy, maingay yung aircon, may tumutunog sa background. That's true. So, Kung madalas ka uh, namang naka-Zoom meetings or something, mas yun yung naka-focus ka especially ko naka-headphones yes. or earphones ka versus uh, yung Siguro ang take away ko is that mm-hmm. at least I know my unit is working kasi pag pag-internet sa iPhone gumagana siya. Diba? Alam mo gumag- it's yeah. really quiet. That's one way to look about. It's, if it's super quiet for a long time, make me problem. But thankfully, right, right. Me. So, like I mentioned again, uh, the room is mega big, and there's several people there a lot of the time. Like before, um, I remember na we had a very similar a uh, mindset that you have now. Na parang alam mo pag yung the other appliances like uh, an electric fan or something. Masasani ka sa noise level. Eh. Whatever noise level that is, you just you just live with it. It masasani ka lang talaga. But like I remember when we bought our uh, air conditioner with the inverter for the first time, like parang it was a huge deal sa amin. Uh, one reason I said there's several people in the room, so parang may mga nag-usap, may, nag- may mga interact, and to have that extra level of noise go, go away was very noticeable sa amin. Plus, like I mentioned before, there mga ibang gadgets and appliances sa room na yon. So uh, another thing that we have there is the big TV namin is there. So we like to hang out there and enjoy movies together and you know things like that. Kaya sobrang natuwa kami nung parang Alam mo yung, yung the, the movie doesn't have to compete with the noise level ng aircon na. So mas nakaka-focus kami, nakakalimutan namin yung whatever except for whatever we're watching. So yeah, that's uh one reason why uh I really like the uh the noise level of the uh the air conditioner with the inverter. Okay, so uh, when we bought our uh, air conditioner with the inverter, it came with some special features na wala yung dati naming air conditioner. Yung sa'yo, Dan, since yours is an non-inverter, meron pa rin ba mga parang special features yung unit, ma? Uh, yes, uh, it, it still has mm-hmm. some features, some special basic features, if I may call it. Okay. Na it still has a timer. Right, right. It uh, okay. still has a special filter. Mm-hmm. And also, some still have naman remote. So, it's not... Uh, non-inverter air models naman are not far behind in terms of special features. I'm still able to to use my remote to control it na hindi na ako lumalapit. I also have uh, a timer built in so pwede kong i-limit na yung pag-consume ko ng lamig. So, 4 to 5 hours, satisfied naman na ako doon. Right. And yes, uh, some still have special filters to filter out some of the dust and mga allergens in the air. It depends. It depends on the model. But mine right. has those three. So, it's not as behind as some might people think na napaka-basic ng non-inverter models. Actually, it has what you need naman eh. Right. Para mas comfortable ka na, malamig ka pa, malinis pa yung mm-hmm. hangin mo. Uh-huh. So, yeah, so that's great. I'm very happy. Yeah, that. yeah, that's great. Na yung uh, non-inverter mo is not yung super basic na talagang knob only and yeah. things like that. So uh, there are some pa din na ganon, but <laughs> at least is ayon uh, <laughs> There are some di na. You have that added convenience. So for uh, my family's air conditioner with the inverter, it came with additional special features that I actually at first didn't think we needed but uh, for example you mentioned your filters ours has parang more special f- uh, filter functions parang ionizer or something like that na uh, it cleans the air more uh, at least according to the specs and at first parang i didn't know if it was really working as spec right but parang over time like i mentioned the room is a bit larger and something like that so pag mag accumulate yung dust sa corners ng room na yun, maraming dust kasi nga mas malaking kwarto and parang over time na notice ko nga na parang less dust na nga sa room na yon, uh, without any additional cleaning or anything like that. So, na-appreciate ko yon. And another thing you mentioned is sa remote, diba? Yung sa convenience. And my uh, air conditioner with the uh, inverter has a new feature that's called, you know, it's it's smart features, no? So, you can connect to your Wi-Fi and ah, you can control mm. it 
uh, with an app on your phone. Right? So at first, parang talaga hindi ko muna pinansin. Ginamit ko lang yung remote, uh, old school as usual. Kasi nasanay na ako na ganun. Pero one day, I decided na, sige, subukan natin. Ba, mali mo magustuhan, uh, magustuhan ko. And after like uh, a really short learning curve, like after a day or something, comfortable na ako sa app, I really grew to like this feature that I thought I didn't need before. Kasi like before, kung maisip mong may adjust kang settings sa aircon mo, like, Malamig. Like, let's tone it down or uminit mm-hmm. na, ganyan. Ah, hanapin mo yung remote. And this would happen to me a lot. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, especially since medyo malaki yung room and several people are there a lot of the time kung sino-sino kagamit and different people put the remote in different places. Kaya parang every time kung sino-huli gumamit, tapos nakalagay, ganyan. But with the mm-hmm. app, since like uh, most people I know, I have my smartphone with me uh, most of the time, Parang when I want to change one of these settings, isang swipe lang. Kasi the app is always just open on my smartphone and I just switch to it and it just works like that. And like for example, I leave the room kasi one of my family's uh, members calls me or whatever to do something else in another area of the house. Tapos bigla na lalo, hey, wait, naka, naka-on yung aircon, walang tao. Sayo, sayo kuryente. So I don't need to walk all the way back there and anything like that. Again, it's just one quick swipe of phone. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, these additional bonus features that I didn't think I needed, but I grew to really like and appreciate them. Okay, so our last key point that we discussed today, Dan, I think is something our viewers will be very interested in, and that's the price. And I will be upfront na we actually talagang when we bought the air conditioner and the inverter namin that we have right now that we're using in the big room, Talagang plinano namin siya, naging parang family project siya. And talagang pinag-usapan namin siya mabuti, which aircon to get, uh, what price point, and so on and so forth. Kasi hindi lang siya yung air conditioner mismo. So we went with a split type, uh, split type air conditioner with the inverter and all the special features I mentioned earlier. And uh, parang na-realize namin late sa usapan namin. Kasi parang, of course, yung usapan starts with, oh, bilit tayo bagong aircon, kailangan na natin, and then anong klase. But then, later on in the discussion, they realized namin na you need special installation and maybe additional construction sa room or house nyo, mm-hmm. depending on what you already have set up. So talagang, naging talagang family project talaga siya, and we really had to budget it carefully, and so on. Pero ikaw, sa side mo, kamusta yung uh, buying experience mo sa... Uh, air conditioner non inverter well yan ang strengths ng ano no ng non non inverter air conditioners is that it's very affordable you can get actually maybe around mm-hmm. 8 to 10,000 na model for the smallest one for a small room so g- ganun nice. siya ka affordable so it really fits my budget so especially living alone nga, mm-hmm. if you have to leave your family you might ab- may have to have to opt for a bigger air conditioner na maraming features but for my case use uh, I need just need a small air conditioner, and mm-hmm. eight thousand, ten thousand is an easy upgrade. If especially if coming from an electric fan, no, so we're in it, so might as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, diba? high, then, no? <laughs> uh, since mine is a window type air conditioner, na non inverter, uh, madali lang mm-hmm. install. You know, I I can install it myself, especially if you have a ready space now on your wall or so window mismo, and then yeah. just put it in, plug it in sa tamang saksakan, and then. Tada, meron akong air conditioner, malamig na. And aside from being affordable, yeah. uh, people might think din kasi na non-inverter, mata ako sa kuryente. But that's not always the case. Mm-mm. Yeah, yung nga yung parang common, yeah. Yung nga parang common na yeah. umiikot uh, yun, ano? Actually, my air conditioner, my, my non-inverter air conditioner, consumes around 3 to 4 pesos per hour, which is not bad, especially now na malamig-lamig ngayon. So, uh... I am able to cool myself, to cool my room. Di ako naiinitan, especially during our meetings, di ba? Sometimes, kailangan mas fresh tayo or maingay yung electric fan eh. Right. Pag, pag nakatapat sa'yo, so kailangan na kailangan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I am able to cool myself without actually spending too much. I'm still able to beat my budget with my non-inverter air conditioner. Yeah, and you mentioned something very interesting to me. Yung parang sinabi mo na sa mm-hmm. three to four pesos yung gases mo per hour sa air conditioner mo. Now that I think about it, parang napaisip ako nung na mention mo yun. Kasi I think similar yung uh, probably not exactly the same, pero I think nasa same ballpark yung gases natin per hour sa very different units natin. Kasi again, you 
uh, live alone and then you have a smaller room uh, that you have your air conditioner in and ours the bigger one the one that has the more special features and whatever is in a bigger room that has uh, more people in it and again it's uh, facing the sun and things like that uh, it has to work much harder than yours does and even though mine has an inverter the harder the air conditioner works the the energy consumption still uh, goes up so even though you don't have an inverter and I do nasa around, same, diba? it comes around mm-hmm. to the same uh, gastos per hour more or less so that's that's very interesting <laughs> Alright, so for team budget, for non-inverter models, uh, it's a good buy, it's a good choice. Don't be afraid to get a non-inverter model because of the uh, for because of the running cost. Um, it's very affordable at start and you can also maintain it to be uh, on your budget to use it every day, every night, like me. If you have a small space, small room, and then ilan lang kayo sa room, uh, it's a good option. It's actually a great upgrade. If you're coming from, let's say, an electric fan, so mas malameg, mas komportable na tayo. So it's a good buy for team budget. And for Team Pro, uh, I believe myself and my family are very happy with our uh, inverter air conditioner because, again, a lot of people use it on a daily basis. So it gets a lot of work. Talaga si nasulit namin yung inverter capabilities niya. We really enjoy it when watching movies and bonding together because you can hardly hear it, especially sa amin na yung uh, split type. And again, since it's, it's, it's a large room, uh, don't be afraid to work your uh, inverter air conditioner harder because since it does use energy more efficiently, you can save a lot in the long run. And Dan and I would like to know, everyone, ano kayo? Team Budget or Team Pro? Please let us know in the comments down below. And thank you all so much for watching the first episode of Budget versus Pro. Please. Like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Abyssin Studio. And don't forget to ring that notification bell for updates on more of our awesome content. And in the meantime, stay safe and bye-bye! Check out these videos for other amazing items that are available at Abinson And subscribe to our channel for more awesome content.